All right, good people. Thank you once again for tuning in to Workshop for the Soul. It's been a been a great time coming before you doing the things that the Lord has for me to do. Um, like I always say, it's for me first, and then uh, then it's for you. If anything, I'm preaching to myself and sharing it with you. Um, let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord God, as I come across the word, dear Father, and expose, dear Father, the things that you have brought to light to my life, dear Father. I ask that you show mercy upon your people, dear Father. I ask that you bless the unbelievers, dear Father, that they may come into the understanding of what they should believe and hold on for dear life. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, um, let's talk about the glory of the Lord and how to see the glory of the Lord and how to obtain the glory of the Lord. Um, do you, I mean, let's go to Exodus chapter 16. Okay. And let's go to verse number 10. It says, and it came to pass as Aaron spake unto the whole congregation of the children of Israel, that they looked towards the wilderness and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. Do you know what it takes to see the glory of the Lord in your life? I mean, honestly, do you really know what it takes to see the glory of the Lord in your life? I mean, they were able to see the glory of the Lord and it appeared in a cloud. Let's go to Exodus chapter. Let's go to Exodus chapter 40. Okay. And let's go down to verse number 34. All right. And it says, then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Have you seen the glory of the Lord in the tabernacle you worship in? Some of us have. Most of us haven't. Have you seen the glory of the Lord fill the place of worship? Because they, the, I mean, in Exodus, they have. The children of Israel they have. It says, then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. That's pretty heavy stuff. We're not, I don't think the church is coming close to any of this kind of seeing the glory of the Lord. We haven't even scratched the surface. We can tell the Holy Spirit is there. Okay, but where's the glory of the Lord? All right, let's go to um, Leviticus. All right. Let's go to Leviticus and let's go to Leviticus chapter nine. And let's go to verse number six and see what the word says here. It says, and Moses said, this is the thing which the Lord commanded that ye should do. And the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. Are you doing what the Lord commands of you so his glory can appear unto you? That's that's the real question. Are you doing what the Lord commands of you so his glory can appear unto you? Because Moses said, These, this is the thing which the Lord command that ye should do. And the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. If we go to Leviticus chapter 9 and we drop down to verse number 23, it says, And Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle of the, of the congregation and came out and blessed the people. And the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the people. When was the last time the glory of the Lord appeared to a whole congregation where you worshiped? If God is the same God yesterday, today, and forever, this was God doing this. This wasn't even Jesus. This is flat out all the Lord and the glory of the Lord appearing unto all the people. We have to get on one accord as, a, as, a, as, as the church so we can see more of God. All right, let's go to, let's go to Luke. Okay, let's go to Luke. Let's get some New Testament action. Let's go to Luke chapter 9. I'm sorry, Luke chapter 2, verse number 9. Luke 2 and 9. It says, And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. So the, the, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. Understand this, if you are seeking the glory of the Lord, 
pray that when you do see the glory of the Lord on your life, that you won't be afraid. Pray that when you see the glory of the Lord through blessings, that you won't be afraid. It is easy to pray for something, God bless it, and then you stop knocking because he blessed. But it's one thing to continually knock to see the glory of the Lord. Just don't be afraid. Okay, let's go to John chapter 11. Okay, let's go to John chapter 11 and let's go down to verse number 40. And uh, we'll see it here. It says, John 11 and 40 says, Jesus saith unto her, said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shalt see the glory of God. These Jesus words, he says, said I not unto thee that if thou that if thou wouldest believe, thou shalt see the glory of God. The reason why we don't see the glory of God is because of unbelief. So as soon as God blesses our situation, we thank and praise him and move on in a state of contentment. So we stop asking God to move on until the next test when we should have cried out the more. Most of us never see the glory of God because we give up on crying out when things are good. But when things are bad, we crying. We, oh Lord, crying out. God bless. We thank God and move on. And we cry and we don't cry out until the next thing happens or until the next need or to the next want. But if we cry out continuously, we know things don't all things work together for our good. Okay. But we have to cry out continuously. Jesus said it. He said that if you would have believed, you shall, thou shalt see the glory of God. How can you ever see the glory of God if you don't believe? And if you, if you believe, then you'll cry out in season and out of season. Because there's never a season for crying out. You will be through something always. The devil don't take a break. Why are you taking the break on crying out? Let's go to Acts. Okay, let's go to Acts chapter 7. All right, let's go to Acts chapter 7 and let's go down to verse number 55. Acts 7 55 says, But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Wow, being full of the Holy Ghost. Look steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God. I mean, have you even in, invited the Holy Ghost to fill you so that with faith you could see the glory of God on your